Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing an in-depth review of this VPeak OBD check. So it's basically an OBD device, one of those ones that connect to your um, Bluetooth through your phone or your Android or your Apple and this is one of these new ones and it's got a very good review so far from, from what I've heard so we're gonna be doing an in-depth review of it. So once this, this box is inside there you get some instructions, a vehicle compatibility list, it's got Australian, Brazilian, Canadian, European, India, Mexico, no Japanese. Basically, it's all systems, all cars. So it says it does all cars and all systems. So we're going to do a quick review of it. Not so expensive, like £50, give or take. So it comes with a very nice case that you could easily put in your car, glove compartment, and the pit. It's very nicely packaged. I don't know what that holds about, but comes with some protection as well. Very light. Very nice. It's got some sort of code there that you scan. And, and it's very good light. What got me into these is the OBD11 for the VW Audi range. And that software there with that OBD, it, it just does so much more than any other one maybe as much about 99 percent compared to these cds that's how much it does and these newer ones because this one comes with it says it does all systems and all cars so it's very good handy to have for somebody who's got different sorts of cars in their family or if you're a mechanic or diyer and what i like about this one it's got this bezel here so when you're pushing it in or well, when you're pulling it out you can pull it out because unlike the OBD11 it's got it's not got this bezel you have to like come from here and try to squeeze it out pry it out but this has got that bezel so it gives you a bit more leverage so let's go into the car and test it out so from what I understand this doesn't have a its own software so it's running off generic ones and there are many generic OBD softwares out there and we're going to see which one's the best one. So you could scan that on the app market and it'll come up with a few applications and you just pick one. I'm going to show you which one I'm going to be using. And then you just find your OBD. We're using a, we're doing it on an Audi A3 2 litre TFSI. We just go in. So once it's connected, it's got a red, red sign on, so that means it's got connection there. And we're looking to connect the Bluetooth SC. It's come up with VPeak, and it's pairing, pairing. Pin's gonna be one, two, three, four. We're gonna be doing it with this car scanner. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a generic one, so. There's a few different applications you could use this device on. I'm going to try it on this car scanner. So we hit connect. Bluetooth. Select device. Allow car to location. Yes. Next. Okay. So this is just connecting the OBD. Su successful connections. So to get out these trouble codes, let's just hit the dashboard. So the engine's off currently, and that's what it's showing. That's if we turn it on. Yes, so it shows us how many revs it's at. It's at 900 RPM, so that's about right. So I just turned it off. That's that. Go back, top corner life data mm, combined so 
fuel gear, WT, a lot of fuel stuff. Got very good. Okay. Got a lot of live data. A lot of live data. So let's just turn the car back on again. Um, maybe you need to select these. Fuel used. Let's go to show RPM engine RPM timing advance. That's really good to know. Mass airflow. Select all of these. Um, fuel pressure. It's got kind of lot of live datering compared to the UTEL. Okay, in free version you can select maximum two parameters. Okay, so let's let's pick two our time. There's two. And it's in the chart as well. So it's not too bad. It's got the throttle there, so if I wanted to unselect them to unpick something out. Absolute position E. So it comes out of the graph. So that's not too bad. Okay, life data is really good. You need the life data to do a lot of tests nowadays all sensors this is a supported vehicle sensors depend entirely on the vehicle's ECU so that's generic so whatever your vehicle's got it'll come out and do that so monitor Miller fuel system it's got a lot of data with it I must say for a device MS5 available counts Okay, all sensors in the car, so that's that. Trouble code, select car brand, Audi, so, okay. So to carry out a diagnostic um, test, just to see if there's any faults with the engine, we go into that one and we go and read. So there's automatic, let's try that. And it loads up down here at the bottom. Let's check in all of these units, I think 16, 15, 14. Oh, that's just a countdown. No DTCs for back. So if there was something, you could have cleared it there. So if we go back and go into advanced, <coughs> so let's try that. There's many um, applications you could pick for this device. So this is one application this VP uses. However, there's some other ones. We're going to try another one in a second. So that's how we do a read and clear diagnostic fault codes. Freeze frame data, acceleration test, allows you to make accurate measurements of acceleration and braking. I'm standstill at the minute, so I won't be able to do these tests here, but it's good to know it's got that. Emissions test data recording. Up here, it's, it's CarScan Pro, tells you buy £3.69. So I don't think that's too bad if it gives you all of the details and data so i've just done everything in automatic this allows you to go in and set it up maybe how you'd like okay that's one version of v peak that we've tried we're going to try a different one now so guys we just tried the car scanner elm obd and i'm just looking at these ones with the reviews up here and this one's got 4.3 3.8 all of these you could use with this VP. You just go into your Google app and put in VP OBD2 and you get all these choices here. So I'm going to go for this OBD Mary. That looks like it's got a very 4.8 out of 5. So <coughs> there's another one GPS Speedmaster 4.6. So let's install this 
the one that had 4.8, the OBD Mary. Install this and let's see how it works with this software. Accept. Okay. Choose your connection profile. Bernardi. Connection profile. Okay. Okay. You have to go in and put some data in, I guess, or is there a way we could do it automatically? Do not vehicle. Do not connected. Buy full version. So I'm sure this is just a basic version. There's a buy full version. Let me check this one. Extra function in this version. No advertisement. So the free versions obviously got um, a few advertisements. So once you buy this, you may have to pay a little bit more. Six pound fifty seven. And then you get the full version. Okay, we're just going to go in to the diagnosis. Do you want to connect? Yes. Okay, Bluetooth device is not selected. VPeak. Connect. State 1%, so this is connecting. Okay, so it's got state connected. So let's go straight into the diagnostics choose ECU okay vehicle information check engine light off trouble codes numbers none fuel tech level yeah that's the correct VIN sorry this is the unpaid version so it's got a few read and clear codes so let's have a read Check engine light, trouble code number, distance, warm up. So this car's not got no code, so I can't show you guys. And it seems to clear if you did, you'd have it in this top right hand corner where that delete dustbin is. Okay, life data. So standard ones. OBD adapter, fuel system, <coughs> short term. Engine RPM speed, timing advance, intake air temp. So it's not bad with all the live datering. If it all works together, you could do a lot of diagnostics. Engine RPM speed, timing advance. However, obviously, maybe with the paid version, you may be able to have more, more things. Okay. Can't find the vehicle. No thanks. Monitor test. So it's got test components. Wow, this is really good. Components completed. <coughs> One test per trip not completed. Secondary ease up not completed. So if we did the ease up and test. Misfire. So it's a basic play, it does everything for you on the test and if it wasn't, I'm sure they'd give you an option what to do. I can't see any component activation or anything like that playing around with it. You don't have freeze frame data. Okay, charts. Guys, I'm sorry if this is boring but this is just a basic diagnostic just going over this and I can see it's got a lot of things but you could look play more into I'm just going through it so fuel time consume and charts if you bought full version I don't know the difference between the full version and the free version but the interface is easy it does all the basics read clear codes vehicle information life data to a limit but it's very handy to have if this could do for like this is an audi if it could do it for bm mercedes could do it for mini and all other cars it's really bad i'm very curious how the hum on the paid version how much extra you get but 
And I think it's really easy to navigate rather very simple. Okay. okay. Email technician, so dashboard. So this is just a dashboard. So your RPM, your speed, your temperature, your consumption. So let's give that a test. Okay. Yep. Yep. RPMs up. Voltage of your battery. Your load. Speed. Go in that setting. Edit. Oh, okay. Add gauge. Okay. So you could add all of these. I guess. Okay. Mass airflow. So if you wanted to check that. That's good to know. Add another gauge, standard ones, uh, intake. Let's have a look what else we've got. Fuel, air commands, absolute load value. You need to buy that. But these are the parameters you could add. That's a really cool feature. So if you've gone on a run and you just want to do um, check your engine, like monitor it, all of these is really good to have. Okay, diagnostics we've been in there, settings, connection vehicle profile, that would be you, dashboard units, trip log language, let's see, it does English and all of these other ones, Polskis, the most languages, not bad. These annoying apps come up with the free version ECU 7E8. Okay, that's that, and you can still go in and pick some other ones and see which one's the best one for you. But I'm guessing they all do similar things. Thank you guys for watching my video. I'm sorry I couldn't give you the paid version, but I'm hoping that. I gave you enough information. My conclusion of this VP is it's really good. It's very useful and it does all the basic necessities that you need to do. I'm sure with the paid version, you could do a lot more with it. Please like and subscribe. And if there's any comments, anything you want me to go over, I'll try my best to do it for you. Thank you again. See you again.